as such actually very little. The good thing is to take heart. We know that HIV itself is simply not good for the body, so it's also not good for the blood vessels. And uh, while there was concern about HIV medications and increased heart disease, we now know that the virus is actually worse than the medications. There are two medications that are still uh, connected to increased uh, cardiovascular risk, and that's uh, abecavir and lopinavir. Uh, so in that sense, those two are best avoided by people with uh, already increased uh, risk for heart disease. And otherwise, it's really the same as for general population. So eat healthy, exercise, don't smoke. A lot of the excess risk for heart disease in HIV cohorts that was found in the past was actually due to uh, more people in the HIV cohort than in the non-HIV infected people smoking. So for example, smoking is much worse than any HIV medication would ever be. So in that sense, uh, yes, if you have an increased risk, avoid the medications that would increase that risk further, but otherwise um, basically do as anyone would do. Try to uh, minimize your cardiovascular risks by living healthy. Um, any medication can give certain side effects in certain people and we really cannot predict upfront who will have that. So while the vast majority of people will not have a problem with their liver, some people will. And if you are that one individual, you want to know. So that's why you want to have your liver tested regularly if you're taking HIV medications. But uh, to put that in perspective, the same is true for paracetamol. Most of us will take paracetamol without thinking about it, but it's the same. While it will not harm the vast majority of us to take an occasional paracetamol, there will be people who really shouldn't be taking it, and they simply don't know, because we don't go around testing our liver functions routinely. So in that sense, it's no different than any other medication.